from my mistakes that I've made with walking sticks and successes, successes and mistakes. I've traveled quite a bit and um, it's been a bit of a, it's been kind of a struggle getting through a lot of different uh, land features uh, uh, just on my feet. Um, I've walked into some scary areas where a, uh, a walking stick could have pro provided safety for me. I read about the, the mountain lion threat and I was thinking I really don't have any protection except for a little knife. Yeah. What if I had my two walking sticks with me? What about the the time I, I, I went for like some, some big walks and my legs were so tired I would have been tiring up my upper body more and handling uh, a longer walk better. It's uh, it's really uh, I've been I found the uh, walking sticks to be really a, an incredible benefit to to me and uh, really helpful in in the long walks and it's distributing the energy uh, in the energy uh, expenditure not just uh, and also a lack of compression too on my knees I put more strain on my arms now and it's it's really it's really uh, given a more of an overbought overall full body uh, work. Captain Kaboom, thank you for coming. It looks like I'm cutting out a lot. Nate the Butcher, um, I think I'm cutting out a lot here. I, um, I, I, I didn't really think I had a lot of uh, good, I didn't think I had a, a good connection. Um, and I closed the windows because I don't want really people to hear, um, even though there's really not a lot of people around. Stream seems fine? Okay. So anyway, with the walking sticks, I've been using them for for quite a few weeks and and it's really been enjoyable. I feel like I'm swimming on land. It's it's that kind of exercise where I'm I'm I'm, I'm moving my I'm I'm swimming with the the sticks by by standing and and walking. Um, I think I'm uh, faster over hills, going down hills, uh, getting across creeks and. And and uh, just over grass, Fight, fighting a mount. Okay, Richard Brandon says fighting a mountain lion with a stick is like talking, taking a stick to a gunfight. Oh, oh come on, mountain lions are that powerful? A little bit of more safety, the feeling of safety over just my bare hands. And I um so so. Oh. But broad, uh, I've and I'm I'm sure. Oh. I'll have to see uh, if I can get a better connection with. Uh, I better roll down the window. I was hoping not to. I don't even know which side the internet is on. Actually, it's either the left side or the right side. I don't know. Um. Okay, I'll just, I'll roll the window down, fine, we'll just, I'll just talk a little lighter, okay, it's good for air circulation anyway, it's, it's not going to be incredibly hot around here, but, uh, yeah, the windows will need to come down anyway, alright, so, alright, I should have a better connection, uh, feed seems a little choppy, yeah, I guess I'm I'm not in the best uh, best spot for for live streaming. Um, I mean, I had pretty good internet, but I could tell when I put this computer around the car uh, when it it cuts out at certain point places. Like like here in this Walmart, I have to keep the computer around the the steering wheel area for the best reception. If I want to land my stomach and and use it, I lose connection. Harvey Peters says, more times than not, you will never see or hear the mountain lion until he actually beginning to dining on you. Yes, there are warnings, but those are people who survived or who were um, maybe in a group or something and, and they had to leave to survive and they were the ones that survived out of the, the attack. Let's see, uh, Coffin Nails 1974 seems better now. Yeah, I rolled down the window. It might help a little bit. Um, that way, you know, the, the window kind of stops the Wi-Fi signals like rain, I think. Uh, cop blocker J Jesse Booz Cruz is a disgrace. Oh, he's, he's him and Ravaskar are most likely happily employed. 
They just, unfortunately, Cruz or Ravasa didn't win um, Officer of the Year Award. All right, that went that went to a guy who's gotten it now twice, uh, two years in a row now in Williston. So congratulations to him. And also some, some girl got some kind of uh, an award too. Those are like, those are real exonerations for cops. If you win an award, that's, that's an automatic, that's a card, a free card for an exoneration. So it gives you more, gives you more, um, oh, I better, all right, yeah, all right, I hear somebody, so I want to keep it down a little bit. He's making a lot of racket, though, with his cart. Um, it makes me a little paranoid just talking, because, uh, I don't know, I talk about weird things. All right, see, Evan says, sup, Sunflower. Will Sunflower, oh, and Sunflower responds, G-T-S-Y. I'm not too familiar with that. Uh, Real Jingy says, cheers, Travis, cheers, everybody. Good story, see you live. Okay, he's minding his own business. Yes, I, are grackles around, Sunflower's asked. Yes, they showed up for a couple, a cut, about at least one male showed up in this Walmart parking lot this morning. I didn't hear him yesterday. Um, let's see, yeah, that's, okay. The, uh, the grackles are, are becoming very rare in the northeast corner. I'm almost in the Mississippi. Are the Texas state, are they? The Evan Creek says grackles are the state bird of Texas? Um, they could be, but, uh, they're, they're pretty scarce in the northeast. They're more common in the desert regions on the west part. In the central Texas is where they thrive, where grackles thrive. They might thrive in parts of Mexico, I don't know, but they definitely, they definitely enjoy um, the hot uh, weather, the grasslands. Not uh, the, the the barren deserts might be a little too extreme for them, but they can't they can't handle areas where other birds uh, do good, like in tree tree green grass areas. You find less less grackles. They do much better in the dry grass, hot areas. Central Texas, really, either western to central. I haven't really been to Central Texas. It's so large. GC. Oh, okay. Cop blocker has uh, clarified that GTSY means good to see you. Uh, let's see, Trish Williams. Good morning, Travis and chat. Let's see, Evans Creek says they are known for keeping dashboards meticulously clean. Yeah. They're just, they're not easy to hire. They don't, they don't, I, I think they work for a very, too high of a wage for me to pay. Um, I haven't been able to convince any to, to, to work for me. Uh, Richard Brandon, I wonder what would happen if you tased a mountain lion. Imagine a cat with his hair sticking straight out. Okay. Yeah, um, that's never been caught on video. If, um, if anybody wanted to actually show proof of uh, their success in, in, uh, in um, manhandling a lion like that. There's definitely plenty of video of cops tasing people, though. And there's there's some hairy people who have been tased. Let's see. Uh, Real Jingy also clarifies, good to see you, for future reference. Oh, for our FFR, if you're into the FFR for future reference. Okay. Yeah, people don't, well, you know, okay, this is chat speak. Um, I, I'm just I'm kind of I don't really go and get into chat speak a lot, uh, but yeah that's that does that's looks familiar. All right, walking sticks. The I have four walking sticks in my Ford Focus. Two, <clears throat> two uh, bought at Walmart. I actually broke one, but I bought another one because I want to kind of look professional with the walking sticks. I think walking sticks make me look less threatening. Walking by houses where there's little kids in the yard and parents maybe who, who glance out and see me and, and know that their kids are out in their front yard and, and think, wow, okay, uh, what, 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 what do we have here in, in our neighborhood where strangers normally don't uh, walk by? And, oh, here's this guy with walking sticks. He's not, just, he's not just walking, holding a bag like he normally does. He's got walking sticks now. And and it looks like he's walking with more of a purpose, maybe maybe more for exercise purposes, and and uh, I think that makes me walking sticks might make me look a little bit but look a little bit more um, uh, safe uh, when I go through uh, neighborhoods, because uh, I, I went through a, a neighborhood 
I went on a, like almost a three mile walking stick adventure around a neighborhood yesterday and it, and it really felt good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and, and I did pass by some yards with some kids in front and just, just blew through. I could walk faster through. I think I look less threatening. I think I actually look threatening with, uh, with, with, with the walking sticks. But I, it doesn't matter um, how, how uh, I look to any dogs, though. Dogs will always bark at me. And it's actually kind of fun to mess with dogs a little bit more. See, Sunflower Skies, her, her walking sticks are fashioned with a sharpened end so I can act as a spear, too. Uh, yeah, see, I'm not into that survival stuff. I don't think that's really all that necessary. As long as you got a nice, strong, blunt walking stri stick that can handle some force, like breaking vines. You, need, you want a good, strong walking stick. I don't know about uh, sharpness, but I mean... Uh, you know that's my opinion. There's there's people who had to encounter different uh, different challenges where maybe that uh, a spear would become in more handy. Um, let's see. Ta uh, yeah, messing with dogs is is kind of a little bit more fun with walking sticks. For one, I can protect myself a little bit. I I don't I don't know about uh, what what was uh, about fighting a mountain lion that it's it's like bringing a a walking stick to a gun battle with dogs dogs it's a walking stick can help cuz I, I could plant i could plant a, a walking stick between myself and the dog i could just i could drive it into the ground if a dog attacks and it'd run into the in two walking sticks it would have to it would have to pass between two walking sticks um, and i could catch it but just holding the walking stick out you know you, you just hold it out at them too that, that creates a distance too that that keeps them at bay um, and I've had a couple of encounters yesterday just walking with my walking stick seeing a dog I'll, I'll, I'll couple I'll couple both my walking sticks in one hand uh, and and hold it against the dog and have a camera my quick draw camera as soon as I see the dog I bring out the quick draw camera and I'm, I'm ready to record and hold my sticks at the and keep the dogs at bay it wasn't too bad yesterday Let's see, uh, Harvey Peterson said, the only good grackle, mmm, Harvey Peterson, you're pushing your luck there with that comment. They're poop factories, well, that's true, they are poop factories, and make unspeakable messes. Okay, uh, yeah, birds, birds will do that. On sidewalks, patios, uh, park cars, rooftops, etc., and also picnic tables, too. All right, people say I mess up picnic tables by doing my picnic table fitness on them, but birds mess up picnic tables too. You make some good points there, Harvey Peterson. Cop blocker, tie sticks are my choice. Now, I'm not too familiar with tie sticks. My, well, oh, you know, I will not accept a walking stick less than 55 inches. If tie sticks are less than 55 inches, they're out of, the, I don't, I wouldn't consider them at all. Let's see. Sunflower Sky says a walking stuck to a gun battle. Yeah, there's there's not much comparison. Uh, I, I guess you could a bullet could hit the walking stick, and uh, with the what sticks I got, they fly right through and wouldn't really slow the bullet down. Terry Golson, thank you for the three dollars. Um, I didn't know I had that set up. I forgot I had that set up on my channel. Thank you. That helps. That helps me. All right, I, I got kicked off again. I, I think it might be my hand. I put my hand in front of the screen. I put my hand in front of the Wi-Fi. Let's see. Let's see. Coffin Nails always carries pepper spray while riding bicycles for mean dogs. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I could put a bicycle between me and a dog. It's That, that feels like a shield to me. Um, extra, extra ammo. I mean, I could... I could also go on the offense with something that shoots projectiles at a dog too. I focus on defense myself. Let's see, Evans Creek Brahmin, when is when is the twenty oh the calendar for beef yeah I got whenever I find a good good comfortable spot to take a picture and, and I feel good about myself I'll take a I'll take a, sh a picture of myself. That's that's a slow pro a slow a slow program um, that's being developed. Let's see, Captain Kaboom, tie sticks are made from uh, hemp. I'm, I'm thinking Mary Jane is probably hemp. Sunflower Sky, the Travis Hines beefcake calendar is coming out soon. Yeah, 
uh, I'm trying to keep in shape, but my, my health breaks down too. It's like I'm up and I'm down. Like yesterday, I I don't mean to talk too loud. Yesterday, I ate something that like felt like it got stuck in my stomach. It was really annoying. It took it took maybe an hour. I, I jumped up and down with my walking sticks for a mechanical action, and then I put magnets over it for some relief. Um, yeah, magnets in a sock or... Or just these these magnets got some magnets here just to just to try to open things up it's it's like I, I had the cereal and and I mixed um what was it star anise or no no not star anise it's uh uh yeah because you got a niece and you got star anise so it was star anise and uh, it's like the food seemed to have gotten stuck in my stomach it's like you can you can have the best exercise in the world and, and feel great, but then you can have the worst meal in the world and then and then feel terrible regardless You got to combine you got to have like everything's got to work perfectly um, Let's see. Let's see sunflower sky ordered a crochet bikini from yeah from my delicacy store because that's I, I've kind of forgotten how to crochet it's been a long time. I, I haven't crocheted anything in so long but I mean, maybe it's just it's it's just uh it shouldn't take too long to remember re remember it. Let's see, cut blocker rope is made from hemp tie sticks are made from the sativa. And I've seen I see people make arguments about uh, bringing hemp in into the economy more uh, like it's illegal or something. But I've been to Western Washington and there's there's a, a tree. Um, I don't it's not called elm. I was trying to think of it the other day. There's a tree that does better than hemp in western Washington. Why settle for hemp, growing hemp, when this tree grows taller uh, and and you get more out of the tree for for the uh, the environment there? Because hemp hemp and this tree, I mean, it gives you the same products. Like they were making bathing suits out of this tree. Um, you, you don't settle on hemp. Hemp is for certain environmental conditions. Ones that it's a little more strained, maybe shorter growing seasons um, compared to the western, the western up northern, northwestern coast that, that uh, you can grow more trees that'll do the same thing. Let's see. Um, Evans Creek, he has to come over and make final adjustments with this speedy stitch. Yeah, I've been the only the only sewing I've been doing lately, now getting off topic, I guess, is I'm I'm continually trying to save this bag. I put stitch after stitch. Uh, it's it's it should have fallen apart uh, over a year ago, year years ago. All right, I've been just putting stitch after stitch. It's fallen apart on the the handle edges, and I've had to put hundreds and hundreds of stitches all in there to hold it together. It, fall, it fell apart all around on both sides. It's taken a lot of effort to save this, this bag. But I really like it. Nice side bag. The bottom's falling apart. There's parts where it's falling, uh, it's gotten holes in it all over. Just trying to save it. And I'm trying to like um, put stitches in uh, in, in um, anticipation of of any holes. Like major hole was right there for a little bit, and I, I need I need to put more stitches in as a foundation. So this bag, I'm gonna turn this bag into just the only thing that'll hold, be holding it up are all my stitches that I put in it. It's it's really it takes time, and uh, I need to do more stitching just to just to try to save it. You know, you, you could and save money too because what thread is like two dollars, um, as opposed to a new new bag like this. Exactly, I think it's like fifty-five dollars for a new one. So, uh, yeah, I don't I don't mind my appearances so much. I don't know. I don't seem to get stopped. People don't really. Uh, well, I I don't know how people feel about it. This people, you know, if people have thoughts about the bag and my appearance, it's. They keep most people keep it to themselves, and that's that's a fair, that's uh, that's that's fair. Um, I can handle that. 
people don't say, oh, you look like a hobo straight to my face, but you could say that in chats, because that's, that's, uh, that's, that's something that's, uh, you, you can be a little more open, I don't, so, I, I carry this bag while I go on my, my walking stick, uh, travels, um, and I gotta, I gotta shift it behind me a little bit, it's, it would probably be better to use a trips, but, um, yeah, and Coffin Nail says nothing wrong with hobos, of course, um, there's, there's some, some hobos that can keep to themselves, and, 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 uh, well, it's, it's really, the difference is, is, uh, I think it's drugs, all right, there's, there's some hobos that just are, are, uh, really in, 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 in like, more, more trouble than just being homeless, they just have more, more issues with, uh, their, their health, health makes a difference, uh, yep, shoot, shoot, uh, Heaven's Creek says, uh, let's make some reference to, to a couple of channels there, Shoestring's pretty popular. I, I don't really watch him a lot, but I mean he's he's popular. Uh, Richard Brandon, do you ever feel like your experiments on yourself could go drastically wrong? Maybe you should try those magnets in your underwear. You know, you know, draw out the experiment. Yeah, the the experiments um, do go wrong sometimes. I mean, <clears throat> I, I'm trying new grasses, and there's one time where I, I picked the wrong grass that really messed with me. My my biggest issue is movement. All right, like right now I'm feeling I'm actually I'm sitting in my car and I feel like I wanna I gotta get up on my feet. All right, and I think I'm going to really quickly, really soon. Just just sitting here. I mean it's early morning and it's it's uh it's it's just uh, I've, I've I've slept all night. So I slept pretty good, but uh, I, I might be um, experiencing like issues from. When the food got stuck in my my stomach last night, and now I'm I'm feeling it this morning a little bit. I was thinking I would. I was thinking I probably should get out and get out get moving again. Um, I just I just wanted to spend a short period of time talking about walking sticks, uh, maybe to mo as a way maybe to motivate myself also to to get up and get going too. But uh, yeah, there's there's some experiments. I mean. I'm really happy with uh, a, a lot of the results of my experiments. When I do experiments, I do it in small doses. So, <clears throat> um, like this this pet food, this this uh, chinchilla, chinchilla grass. This is this is good, good stuff. Um, I I'm gonna continue to buy it and and to use it. In fact, I want to get out on a, on a. Yep, I go. Whoops. Um,